So this is us looking at the back of the plug. And as you can see, here's a piece of plywood that we cut out on the laser to match the pattern that we made on that, on, on that drawing. So it made it, I can't tell you how nice this was. This is the first full size boat that we've made on the laser. This thing is straight and true and was so easy to put together. I just so impressed. <laughs> uh, so, so anyway, this is a plug. I don't know that you see this done anywhere. I haven't really seen it on YouTube. I don't see it on the internet much of anywhere. Um, just, mainly because it just isn't done very often. Uh, if you have a fiberglass mold, you originally had a plug, you made the mold from the plug. So everything you see here eventually gets thrown away. So I have a hard time spending a lot of money on materials on something that you're gonna throw right in the trash. As soon as you're done with it, I mean, you can see how big it is. You've either gotta you know, you know, let it take up your floor space or get rid of it. And once you've made the mold, you don't need it anymore. So. You know, it's life expectancy is not a long time. So really the only thing I need is this thing to look like a pontoon and hold up the fiberglass until it cures. And once it does that and we have a cured mold, we'll separate the two. The mold will be what we're interested in. And then, like I said, at this point, you know, that, that becomes trash. So uh, this is still open on the end because we're gonna use the laser again and use take this sheeting and cut it out and and uh, glue the end on here. And it's, it's just a flat box end, There's nothing special about it. Uh, and, and this sheeting, we've never used it before, but it seems like it's working out great. I'm really happy with it. Um, it, like I said, just needs to hold its shape for just a short while now. If you were really slow and you were gonna build this plug, maybe put it in the rafters for a while until you were ready to make the mold, I might choose something else because you know basically this is really dense cardboard and um, you know I don't I don't think it would weather well even in like moist air. But we're gonna get fiberglass on it pretty fast. So um, you know I'm not too worried about it. So we're getting really close. Uh, need to put this end on. There's a couple of pieces up on the bow we need to add and I'll show you those. Uh, and then it gets sanded. All of the edges get fared and rounded and you know ready, ready for the fiberglass cloth and resin. Uh, we're 18 feet long here. And you know, you can, you, you can just see it's it's fuzzy, this all sands out really nice. I've already tried it, uh, but it'll get sanded. Uh, we'll get some epoxy filler on it, and then we'll start the cloth process. Um, this is where the biggest attention is. You can, man, I just, I just love that shape myself. I, I'm very happy with it. Uh, something that, that we did on our own, I uh, can't, tell you that uh, we're naval architects by any stretch of the imagination, but um, we just wanted to make sure that it was fair. I kind of knew what I wanted it to look like, and we just kind of went after it from there. But you can see, I'm sorry about the camera work, <laughs> holding my phone the best I can, but these two pieces that are missing, I need to make patterns and cut them out, and it really needs to happen on the bandsaw. Uh, <laughs> Yes, it's just really tough cardboard, but, it, but it's really tough. It's not something that cuts easily. And, you know, I'll show you this side too, but it's basically matches the other side. Uh, we melted down some copper at some point and made ingots, and it's made really nice weights for holding things in place till they dry. But, uh, but anyway, Somebody had pointed out that I had done a lousy job of explaining what I was doing, so I was trying to fix that. <laughs> you guys take care.